Hello, welcome to the episode 8 of Sabbatical Uncle Stories. In this episode, uh, Uncle will cycle half of Singapore. So the starting point is at the Bukit Timah Railway Station uh, at the Rail Corridor. So this challenge is sort of inspired by an end parks uh, site that talks about this uh, phase 1 of the Round Island route. I, I guess in its completion it will be uh, circling the whole island. So for my challenge, instead of going uh, half the island and coming back the same route, I decided to make a loop. So this is the, the planned route. So the real corridor coming from Bukit Timah is all down slope. So I'm getting a bit worried. I'm getting the easy part now. Uh, later on, I don't know when it's up slope. So we are near, we are behind Metropolis. Uh, we are right beside the MRT track towards Buena Vista, MRT. And under this underpass, you can see that there's so, so much graffiti. I, I think it's authorized because I think for the rest of the journey, you won't see such uh, uh, art <laughs> around. Uh, they would definitely have cleaned up. This is a nice underpass, uh, quite a big underpass uh, with these uh, strips of light. I'm probably like at 5% mark at the moment, maybe 5km. Uh, the weather is quite forgiving uh, now, it doesn't feel too hot. Um, and although I started quite late, I wanted to start uh, early in the morning, like 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. But uh, I didn't expect that today's weather is okay. Um, I see some black and white, black and white bungalows. Actually, it's quite difficult to... I, th I think it's much more time-consuming if you want to cycle and try to document your journey via the video. Because you think of what you want to say, you want to cycle when you're cycling, and then you are already not thinking when you're tired. <laughs> but I guess this is what makes it fun, right? Okay, I'm out. Okay, so I reached one end of the real corridor. We are at Tanjung Paga site. Uh, so basically, when you reach here, we need to make a turn, a left turn into Spooner Road. Uh, yeah, so you have to go that way. As a recreational cyclist like me, uh, my packing list includes a camera uh, to record uh, the journey. Uh, I didn't bring snacks, but I think it's, it's, we can bring it uh, just as long as it doesn't melt water bottle, you have a helmet. It's important to cover yourself uh, from head to toe, I think. Uh, so I got sleeves, I gloves, uh, bring some block, um, bring some money, and also importantly, of course, your phone and uh, Bluetooth uh, earbuds so that you can listen out for directions uh, from Google Map. Um, I didn't bring a pair of shades, but that I think those could be useful, as well as uh, to have a cell phone mount on the bicycle. I'm gonna take a break here. Uh, so not so tired. I'm probably at 50% of the journey. 50%, <laughs> 85 more km to go. Okay. Because I didn't really adequately prepare myself for this cycling trip, I didn't uh, manage to get a camera mount on the bike. So whenever you see video footage of 
uh, me cycling. I'm, I'm actually holding on to the camera with my hand, uh, hoping that the stabilization feature for the phone will, will work, although it's quite bumpy. If you look carefully, the, the sea has like two tones. A greyish green tone and a dark green. And then the container ship is just pumping. I'll get some snacks just as a just as a backup in case I get hungry. Uh, hope it doesn't melt. I'm somewhere in Changi, in the middle of nowhere. There's like literally no one in front of behind me. Take a look. I have to admit that for this uh, part of the trip, is uh, it's quite uh, boring. Uh, the reason is because there's not much things to look at, and I'm alone. So the winds are, are quite strong, and I, I feel like the I can really feel the wind resistance. Okay, right now I'm at Changi Village Hawker Centre. I think I'm at the midway point. I'm completely shacked out. Uh, but at least I'm gonna have my lunch now. Actually, this part of Singapore with this like rolling fields is quite rare. You don't see it much. During the second part of the journey, I keep thinking to myself that why is Pongo so big? Why is Pasri so big? I never knew that they were so big. And uh, in the second part of the journey, I also had much fewer videos recorded because it's really tiring to keep uh, recording and uh, cycling at the same time. Okay, we're at Yishun Dam. This is the real Yishun Dam. There's actually someone in the water. Right now it's around 4, 4 p.m. I still have maybe two and a half hours of daylight to get back home. Somehow I survived. Uh, this is the Helion Mall uh, entry into the park connector. So this part of the park connector is really not very developed. Uh, you can take a look. It's like that. Oh my god, the cycling is going to be so tough. Uh, you remind me of the cycling I do in Kyoto. Okay, I'm finally done uh, one round, so I'm at Kogetima Hill uh, and uh, we're just very near Beauty World and Station. 